Hey guys, welcome to another PSA. Today's PSA is about pride and I am so excited to be doing this video. I had a couple of things that I wanted to make sure that I touched on the video and that I needed to get ready before I did it so it's all finally come together. So I'm really, really excited to do this. If this message is something that's personal to you or something that really touches you, please stay tuned to the end of the video because there's an exciting announcement and campaign that I have going on and I'd really love for your feedback and your support on that. But the whole video came about really and I was inspired to finally get this video going because on my announcement video I posted a few weeks ago, I had a couple of people ask me to do a video about my thoughts on gay rights or what I thought about gays and lesbians and I really had to seek some advice on, on how to go about this topic because for whatever my personal beliefs are, I am not um, gay, I'm not a lesbian, and as a straight white female, I've never had to go through the hardships that some of you may have faced in the past or may be facing right now. So it was really important for me to understand, and I talked to a lot of my friends and said, hey, what's your recommendation as somebody who's gay to touch on this video because I really want to make sure that it's heartfelt and, and genuine and I want to make sure that I'm not giving advice for something that I've never had to personally go through. And their biggest piece of advice was just to say, hey, just say that you support it, which I 100% do, but there's a lot of things that go along with that. So if you're watching this video in order to get my personal experiences or what it's like to come out or if you want advice on those kinds of things, I'm probably not the best person to talk to or to watch videos with. Um, I would highly recommend two people. One is Gigi Gorgeous and the other one is Connor Franta and I will link their YouTube channels in the description below if you are interested in checking both of them out. They are amazing role models. I have watched Gigi for many, many, many months and I love everything that she does. She is such a positive person. She is just absolutely amazing. Like her name says, she is gorgeous inside and out. So I would highly, highly recommend watching her channel and Connor's if it's something that you want to get somebody else's personal experience with. But that being said, obviously I am so supportive of everybody who comes to my channel, regardless of your gender, your religion, your sexual orientation, any other factors. What I try really hard to do in my own life, and I've tried to do this since I was old enough to make my own decisions, is to look at people for their personalities and look at them for who they are and not what they are or what label they're you know, put on. And what I can tell you is that the one thing that pretty much commonly unites us that we all don't really talk about is that at some point in our life, all of us have to make a decision or we become someone that other people may not be familiar with or may not be comfortable with or it may deviate from a plan that our parents may have set for us. And I've experienced that in my own life where I had to make a decision in my life that I knew a lot of people weren't going to agree with. And I found out two things. I found out number one, the people who loved me genuinely and truly and sincerely loved me no matter what. The change or the announcement that I made didn't change the fact that they cared about me. And the people who it did affect, I realized that they probably weren't as close to me as I thought they were or that I wanted them to be. And though it was really hard to lose those people in my life, what I realized is that I found new communities of people who accepted me 100% completely for who I was, and those friendships have lasted a lot longer than I could have ever imagined. So. I think that if you are going through this, this process where you are telling your parents or your family that you're gay or you're going through um, a transgender process, I think that it's really important for you to understand that you are very loved and the people who want to stick around are the people who are going to support you and the people who really, really are going to mean a lot to you and are probably the people who mean the most to you um, overall. So the strength that you have to have anytime you do that, I don't understand how people today can look at somebody who is gay or transgendered or bisexual and make just a generic claim. I really don't understand it because they are going through something that's difficult and the strength that you have to be able to take your life and take this situation where you've been told this is what your expectations are and this is what we're going to make you be essentially is, is what you've been told and you go you know what that doesn't make me happy I, 
I want to be myself and I want to be this way or you know I for me you know I dye my hair red you know I people some people were like upset at me it's like well you know I I, I want to do that and that is a very like low level courageous act but being able to take huge situations in your life when I became a full-time youtuber and I quit my full-time job and people were like oh you're being really irresponsible right now I had to take the courage and I had to be able to swallow that pill and be able to say like, you know what, I, I know that this doesn't make you happy, but I'm going to do what's best for me and I'm going to do what makes me happy. And it takes a lot of courage to be able to do that. So if you're in a situation in your life, whether you're gay or transgender or bisexual or whatever the situation is, you really need to pat yourself on the back because the strength that you're portraying is something that not very many people have the ability to do in their life. So me personally, I applaud you. If you are taking life by the reins and doing what makes you happy, you deserve an absolute pat on the back and I applaud you 100%. And I can tell you that I am so proud of you for being able to be yourself and be able to look into the face of people who may disagree with you and say, you know what, I respect that our opinions differ and I respect that you may not necessarily be comfortable with my lifestyle, but I can still respect you as a human being. And that leads me to my next point, which if you're someone who disagrees with something or you're angry about something because you don't understand it, or if it's a lifestyle that you don't see yourself living, that's okay. But the only thing that you have to do is accept it. You don't have to understand. You don't have to agree. You just have to accept and you have to love. And that's really what's going to make our entire world a better place is that even if you disagree with somebody, you can still love them. There's a lot of times where I find that people who are angry about a lifestyle choice or they don't understand, it's because they've put a label on it. And labels are quite possibly one of the worst things that we can do. At this point in the history of human nature, we should have realized that every single person is unique. And a label doesn't fully define somebody. You can label me as a female or as a gamer, and your idea of what a female is may not fit to me. I do a lot of things that historically may be very boy. You know, I go to UFC fights with my brother. I play video games. That label doesn't fit me. You know, I have red hair. Are you going to label me as a redhead? But what does that mean? You know what I mean? Like, there's no way that you can go through life labeling people and expect that you're ever going to be able to have more than just a surface relationship or get to know somebody deeper. If you remove the labels and look at people for who they actually are, you're probably going to find that the people that you've discarded your entire life are actually really amazing people. If you look at people for what they do and for their actions, their volunteers, their mothers, their fathers, they are brothers and sisters, they're firefighters or policemen, they are airline stewardesses or attendants, you know, they're the guy who serves your burger at McDonald's. Like, everybody has something about them that's more than just a label. So if you find yourself struggling with that, I would say remove the label. And even if you're somebody who is gay or lesbian or transgender, or maybe you have depression and you feel like that depression label is what's holding you back. I have depression. Remove the label. Look at yourself and say, you know what? Today I'm sad. Today was really bad for me. But you know what? I got up this morning and I got through the day and that's something. We need to take those labels aside from what we put on ourselves and I think we'll all be a lot happier. The most important thing for us to remember when removing these labels is that when we look at ourselves for what really makes us unique, we're all kind of really freaking cool. And because of that, you should never, never, never let anyone ever dull your sparkle. It's a phrase that I have loved for many years, and the exact quote is, don't let anyone ever dull your, your sparkle. But for me, it kind of fits because, you know, I am a very glittery, bubbly personality, and there were years in my life where I was kind of dulled down and I wasn't the person that I wanted to be. My hair wasn't the color that I wanted it to be and I, I wasn't able to do the hobbies that I enjoyed. And I know what that's like. And now that I am in a position where I can use my real personality to inspire people and to make other people happy and help other people realize that they are just as unique as anybody else and they are amazing and wonderful and we should all be so proud of who we are, I think that saying is actually really fitting. So I paired up with an artist named Siren and we created the You Cannot Dull My Sparkle campaign, which I am really, really excited about. Here's the artwork. 
If you guys look at the bracelets in the picture, I'm wearing four different color bracelets. Yellow, green, pink, and rainbow. And those are for four things that are very near and dear to my heart and I know probably affect a lot of you. Um, the four bracelets are yellow for the Depression and Bipolar Support Alliance. The green is for um, suicide prevention and awareness. The pink is for breast cancer, which is something that um, is very close to me. We'll talk about that in a minute. And the rainbow is for LGBTQ support, awareness, pride, all of that stuff. And those are four things that for me are things that I see you guys write me letters about a lot and things that are very close to me. I have lost close friends to suicide. I have friends that suffer from depression. I myself have anxiety. Um, and I have a lot of friends in the lesbian and gay community that I absolutely support. And I, I want to be able to do more than just say, I support you. So we created this campaign. You can go to can't dull my sparkle .com. I will link that down below and you can see all kinds of merchandise with this artwork on it. Um, I am getting zero profits from these. Instead, what we've chosen to do for every item that's sold, $1 will go to each of the four charities listed on the page that coordinate with those different um, groups that I mentioned. So the first one is the Depression and Bipolar Support Alliance. It is an amazing charity that helps people with depression um, and, and who are bipolar. They help them, they help get treatment, they help with counseling um, and just general education for that. The one uh, is the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. So they are a suicide hotline. They also do education. The other is the, tre the Trevor Project for LGBTQ youth. They do specific counseling and hotlines um, for suicide or for people who are struggling with depression who fall in the LGBTQ community. And the last one um, is the pink one and that's the Christina Applegate Foundation. A few years ago, um, I was diagnosed as being high risk for breast cancer. And at the time I had zero money and I needed treatments that I could not afford. And the Christina Applegate Foundation came in and paid for those treatments for me so that I could get a clean bill of health. And so for me personally, they have saved my life, as I'm sure these other three charities have saved the lives of thousands of others. So I wanted to do something that not only people would be able to wear and feel proud and feel like no matter what label people put on them, that we are beautiful and wonderful and people aren't going to be able to hold us down. And, um, I am very fortunate that I'm in a position where I can support something like this and I can use um, my social media to help get awareness for these amazing nonprofit companies and support you guys and I just, I really wanted to do this video because I felt like it was really important for people to understand that I support you all. And I'm not the only one, and there are thousands of other people, there are dozens and probably hundreds of YouTubers that are just like me, um, there are charities and support groups who will help you and who care about you, even if we don't know you. Um, I just, I don't want any of you to ever feel like you are alone. And so I wanted to be able to do this as a reminder that not only that I care about you guys, but that there are so many other people in this world that care about you as well. So. That being said, please share the message. It's can'tdullmysparkle.spreadshirt.com. Um, you can link them to this video, whatever you guys feel uh, you would like to do, but I am just very, very appreciative um, of the ability to be able to share this message and to be able to tell you guys that I sincerely love you, regardless of what label people put on you. And um, yeah, I love you guys and I will see you in game soon.